Hey guys, my name is Mark Sullivan. I'm a lieutenant here at the Douglas County Fire Department. Uh, with me is Fire Safety Educator Corporal. We kind of want to take just a few minutes to show you our fire safety trailer and show you some of the cool things we can do with it. Normally we try to bring these out to the schools and let you see that, but unfortunately we can't do that right now. So if in the future you happen to see this set up at the mall or a store somewhere, we want you to come out and kind of see it for yourself. But for today, we're going to take you inside and we're going to kind of show you some of the cool things we can do to keep your family safe. All right, guys, let's take a, take a trip inside. All right, now we're inside the kitchen area inside our little fire simulator tra uh, trainer. And we want to show you one of the things that it can do. And then uh, Educator Corp is going to kind of show you a lot of the cool things that uh, this does in case you do get to come out and do it for yourself. But one of the things we always tell you in fire safety is you always want to make sure when the oven's on or when your parents are cooking something on the oven that you stay away from it. If you have a gas type grill like this, fire actually comes up out of the top of this. And that fire can burn you, it can catch your clothes on fire, or grease or water can splash it up from the pot. So you want to make sure you stay away. Also, sometimes things inside the oven can catch on fire. And so uh, what Educator Corporal is going to do is turn this on and we're going to kind of show you what that may look like. So here is a fire like if it was in the oven, you might see fire like this. The worst thing you can do is go open that door up. So if you go open that door up, you're going to let all the smoke out and the fire is going to come out and then your smoke detector is going to go off. So you want to leave it closed, make sure your buttons are all, or knobs are all turned off and then you get out of the house and you call 911. If the smoke gets too much and you can't see, you want to stop and get on the ground and crawl out of the house. Don't stand up and breathe all that nasty smoke. And then if something happens and your clothes do catch fire or your pants, you always want to stop, drop down to the ground and roll around so it'll put that fire out. But always stay clear of the oven when your parents are cooking. Don't play with it trying to see what it does. You leave that up to the adults. And now Educator Corco is going to show you some of the cool stuff this thing does. And we hope you can come out and see us and actually get to do this in person because it's really cool. Hey guys. Um... Like the LT said, I'm, I'm a fire inspector and a safety educator at Western Court Hill. I'm with the fire marshal's office. Uh, this thing has a few other options and features we can do. Obviously, we're not, we can't have time to demonstrate all of it. Uh, but a few things we can do is we have the option of doing some trash can fire over here. Uh, that'll kind of set your alarm off as well. Uh, then we have a few other things like uh, we have a smoking toaster here. That'll simulate, you know, your toast being burnt in the morning. Uh, we have a microwave demonstration we can also show you. And uh, this is in the event the metal or, or malfunction of the microwave actually happens. Alright, then we've got a uh, cool other thing where we've got a smoking outlet if we want to turn around right here. This will actually show you what a, the beginning stages of an electrical fire and simulate like that. So again, that's, that's just a few of the options we do have here. This is also a weather simulator. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty pretty intense weather, weather simulator. We do uh, tornadoes, hurricanes, floods, and uh, lightning storms as well. Uh, we also have the option of a bed in the front. We do demonstrate that when we go out and speak to the public a lot of times. Uh, that's got some good features in it as well as smoking outlets. And uh, We have a door that heats up and it can kind of show you, uh, you, you know, what's appropriate. You can fill the door with the back of your hand if it's hot, if it's not hot, then obviously we need to proceed another way of getting out of the room. Um, that's, that's kind of it in a nutshell, guys. If you want, if you see us out and about, please don't hesitate to come by and see us. We'd love to, we'd love to have you.